we have brand new polling that suggests that Donald Trump is beginning to surge everywhere. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video today. We have to talk about the 2024 presidential election because it appears that Donald Trump is beginning to surge everywhere. And I know Democrats have been claiming for the past month or so that Trump is actually down by 15 points. It's all over for him. There's no way he can win. Despite that, however, we have brand new polling from the New York Times, from several pollsters that all show the same thing. Trump is surging, and not just in one state, in nearly every single state, whether it's Georgia, North Carolina, Arizona, etc., he is surging everywhere. Look at this. The New York Times, they have Trump winning Arizona by five points. Their prior poll in Arizona, Harris plus five. So a 10-point shift towards Trump in just one month. North Carolina, Trump plus two. Their prior poll, Harris plus two. Yeah, North Carolina shifted four points Republican. Georgia, Trump plus four. All of this is from the New York Times, and we know, especially North Carolina, they understate Trump by a lot. Despite that, however, Donald Trump is up in Arizona by five, Georgia plus four. The only state, according to the New York Times, of these three that's remotely close is North Carolina. That's it. And we know with North Carolina, especially from the New York Times, they understate Trump every single year. Back in 2020, I think they had Biden up by three or four, you know, or five points. It was something crazy like that. And Trump won it by over a point. So if they have Trump up by two right now, if the same error that occurred back in 2020 happens again, you're talking about Trump plus four, Trump plus five, Trump plus six in North Carolina. Same thing in Arizona, even a little bit in Georgia. The fact is, the New York Times, despite having a big Democrat lean to them, they have Trump up in the three Sun Belt states. And you might be saying to yourself, well, it's just the New York Times. They're just one pollster. There's a possibility that by some miracle, despite having a long history of overstating Democrats, maybe, just maybe in 2024, they overstate Republican support. Which, by the way, that has never happened in a presidential year. Since 2016, it has not happened. In fact, since 2016, the New York Times, on average, has overstated Democrats' support by roughly 5%. Now, I'm not saying that the Republicans are going to win Arizona by 10, North Carolina by 7, Georgia by 9. I'm not saying that. But the fact is, the New York Times has a long and consistent track record of understating Republican support, especially in North Carolina. And by the way, it makes sense that he's only up by 2 in North Carolina, but up by 5 and 4 in Georgia and Arizona because North Carolina polling for the New York Times is garbage. Every cycle, they always have Democrats winning North Carolina by three or four, and their polls in Arizona and Georgia, they're not the best, but compared to North, North Carolina polling, it's way better. So it makes sense that he's doing better in Georgia and Arizona than North Carolina, because that's what they show every single year. But in reality, it never happens. Now, it's a possibility that this cycle, North Carolina's closer than Georgia and Arizona. I guess that's a possibility, but even then, the New York Times, they understate Republicans every year. And for those that are saying, well, it's only the New York Times. They're the only pollster that dropped numbers today. It's all over for Trump. He's actually down by 15. Guess what? Redfield Wilton, which for those that don't know, Redfield Wilton has one of the biggest Democrat biases of any pollster. And for those that don't believe me, look at the scorecard that we made. Redfield and Wilton, on average, overstates Democrat support by roughly 6%. Yeah, 6%. It's one of the worst pollsters out there. I mean, look at this. The only ones worse than Redfield and Wilton are pollsters like Quinnipiac, POS, Citizen Data, even Sooner Poll. These are the only pollsters worse than Redfield. So they're in garbage company. They're slightly better than Quinnipiac, but that's about it. 
They're better than Quinnipiac. Who cares? Yet, they found Trump up in Georgia, up in North Carolina, tied in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Nevada, Arizona, slightly down in Michigan. Which, by the way, compared to their prior poll, is actually an improvement. Yeah, that's right. Their prior poll was even worse for Trump. He was down in North Carolina. He was getting crushed in Wisconsin and Michigan. And of course, he was tied in Pennsylvania. But this new poll has Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Nevada, Arizona, all within the margin of error. Michigan only hairs plus one. That's a big shift towards Trump, especially coming from Redfield Wilton, which, like I said, they're the same pollster that, on average, overstates Democrats' support by roughly 6%. Again, I'm not saying Trump's going to win Georgia by eight, but do the math. If this pollster has a long history of overstating Democrats' support every single year, is it really crazy to say maybe they're overstating Democrats' support yet again, even with the tied races in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Arizona, which they will be close races, but... Would you really be surprised if they're off by like four or five points in Wisconsin, for example? But let's keep going. Uh, new poll from Minnesota. Harris plus five. That is not a misquote. Harris right now in the state of Minnesota, the same state that back in 2020 voted for Biden by over seven points, the same state that she picked her running mate from, Tim Walls, the governor of Minnesota, it's only Harris plus five. And people began to look inside of this poll and they realized, oh, wait a minute. It was some crazy like D plus eight sample when back in 2020 it was D plus one. And the independents actually like Trump more than Harris in Minnesota. You heard that right. That's not a misquote. That's not a, you, you did not mishear me. According to the same poll that has Harris only up by five points independents like Trump more than Harris. His favorability is seven points better than Harris. His net favorability is 13 points better. This is from Minnesota, and yet again, another pollster that has a long history of overstating Democrat support. At what point is this just a fluke where the same polls that every year they overstate Democrat support by a lot, not just by one point, by like four, five, six, seven points every single year. They're all showing Trump is doing better in every swing state. Even the ones like Redfield, Redfield and Wilton that has Trump down in Michigan, that's still two points better than 2020. It's every single poll. And now someone looked more into the the Teamster survey, which for those that don't know, this was the excuse that the Teamsters union gave to not backing Trump. Well, some would look more into the numbers, which the, the top line was a disaster. For those that don't know, Biden was winning the Teamsters support by like eight points. And now Trump's up by like 21 points. It shifted like 32 points towards Trump since Biden dropped out. This is a union that hasn't voted Republican in like 30 years. Look at this. The state numbers are even worse. Arizona, a 43-point shift. Pennsylvania, 34. Michigan, 52. Minnesota, 44. Nevada, 29. North Carolina, 52. Wisconsin, 75-point swing. Virginia, 38-point swing. This is from the Teamsters Union. Yeah, it's, that's a shift in every state, every swing state. By like 30 or more points, except like Nevada, with states like Wisconsin showing a 75 point shift towards Trump. What does this tell you about the current state of the race? I'm not saying Trump's going to win Arizona by 19. This is just one survey from Teamsters. These are just people in the union. But like I said, this union hasn't voted Republican in like 30 years or something crazy like that. And they're neutral this cycle. They didn't endorse anyone, despite the fact that Trump is just demolishing Harris everywhere with their own members. That doesn't matter because he's a Republican. It's a pile of crap. But even then, they admitted 
Trump is absolutely demolishing Harris with these voters. These voters, they don't, you don't shift 34 points and that's just a fluke. No, that's a huge shift towards Trump, and not just in one state, every single swing state. It was a big shift towards Trump. These same voters just a couple months ago, they were saying they were going to vote for Biden. Yeah, that's right. A couple months ago when Biden was in free fall, these same voters were saying, eh, you know what? I'm still going to vote for Joe. He's Scranton Joe after all. But now with Harris, these exact same voters have shifted 40 points Republican, 52, 44, 35, 75. This is a complete disaster for Harris. And if this is anywhere close to accurate, Trump is winning every swing state. He's not losing Wisconsin. He's not losing Michigan or Pennsylvania. You're talking about Virginia being in play, which I think at this point, it's fair to say it probably is. I still think it leans Democrat. You know, it's kind of the opposite of North Carolina. It's kind of in play, but it still leans to the left. We had a bunch of polling and even early voting in North Carolina is a disaster for Democrats. I think it's fair to say that Virginia, it leans Democrat, but it is becoming much more competitive than anyone originally thought was possible. Even states like Minnesota, despite the fact Harris picked Tim Walz as VP, she, she is only up by five points here, which is, according to uh, Mason Dixon, they had Joe up by four right when he dropped out. You know, when he was at his absolute lowest point, they had him up by only four. When everyone else was saying he was in free fall, he was down by a lot, he's going to get crushed. A one-point shift, despite picking the quote-unquote popular governor of Minnesota, despite having this quote-unquote enthusiasm surge, despite that, in reality, none of that happened. Harris is doing slightly better than Biden, but it seems like, we're just ending up to the same point where we were just a couple months ago where, yeah, Biden's not going to get crushed, but he's not in a good situation. These are not good polls. These are not good swings for Harris at all. There's no positives here. Is there a single positive that you can look at and say, yeah, this is for sure a good thing for Harris. I can't see a single thing that's good for her. There's nothing. Redfield and Wilton was a disaster. The New York Times, a complete disaster. Even Mason Dixon, a Democrat pollster, they found basically no change since Biden dropped out in Minnesota. Despite the fact that she picked Tim Walls, despite a hundred different things happening, nothing changed. This is getting real ugly for Harris. And I'm not saying she's going to lose in a landslide. I still think it's be a relatively speaking close race, but... These are not trends that she needed or hell wanted. She needed to hold on to this bullshit enthusiasm surge that she's had for about two months now. But it seems like right now, and it could change, but as of now, it seems like we're finally getting past the enthusiasm surge for Harris. It seems like the polls are starting to kind of normalize. They're still garbage, but it seems like they're picking up on reality. It's not... Harris is going to win North Carolina by five. That, that was never going to happen. She may lose it by only two to three points, but that's about it. She is not going to win this election. According to these polls, if these polls are accurate, which they may not be, but if they are, or even if they understate Trump, Harris is losing. But we just got to see what happens. Maybe something crazy happens, and by some miracle, Harris is actually up by 15 points. We got to see what happens, but I would much rather be Trump right now than Harris. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Godspeed to all of you.